It's me. Yeah, I know you know it's me. <sighs> I just wondered if you got two minutes. There's just something I... I just want to talk to you about a minute. No, 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 it's not... It, here, hang on, let me, let me get comfy. Wait a minute, hang on. Yeah, two secs. Are you there? I can't hear you. Oh, sorry. Ash, you know, last year when I ran the London Marathon, you know, when I was hobbling, from the finish line, absolutely exhausted. Oh. I don't know, I just didn't feel anywhere near as accomplished as I thought I was going to. I mean, I'd, I'd trained for months. Just run 26 miles, almost killing myself in the process. And all I could think of to myself was... What was that for? Nine blisters. Exhaustion. Debilitating cramp. And 176 quid for charity. A hundred and seventy six pounds. And it wasn't that everyone was, they weren't generous. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't. It was more that the more people I asked to sponsor me, the more uncomfortable I got about, you know, when they asked me what charity I was running for. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry, I'm no good at FaceTiming. Yes, I know. Is that better? Can you see me? Can you hear me now? No, I was just saying, do you, do you remember when we were kids and we always used to watch the, um, we always used to watch the London Marathon on TV with Tam and Mom and Dad. I always thought it looked like brilliant fun. I'm not as running in fancy dress, fundraising. And the fact that, you know, Monday to Friday, they all worked in banks probably or something. And then all of a sudden there they are doing 26 miles on the, <laughs> the best of them that particular Saturday, you know. <laughs> no, I was just saying it was one of the things we always said we'd do when we when we were older did you know that it's... at the time when she died I, I had this grand idea of setting up a charity in her honour You know, wait till I was older, do it properly. But then I decided I would do it there and then. <laughs> do you remember? I tried to do that sponsored litter pick for suicide prevention. Dad flew off the handle. Told me I've got no business raising money for that. Mum just said, get the money out of my purse, which was empty. And 
when I tried to talk to you about it, you just... You ripped up the sponsorship form I'd made. Yep. Slammed me into the wall. Told me to grow the fuck up. Which was nice. As I was nine. Yeah, I know. All right, I know. You don't have to... Oh, Ash, yes, apart from that, you've always been... You've always... Looked out for me. You're amazing. I love you. And we're closer than ever. But. It's, whenever Tommy comes up. Even now. You. Oh, I don't know. Well let me put it this way. I certainly. Wasn't going to ask you to sponsor me. To do a flipping London Marathon. In aids of suicide prevention. Mm-hmm. What I really wanted to, though, Ash. I really, really wanted to ask you to sponsor me. I, just, but I wanted you to be proud of me for doing it and to, to know why, why I was doing it. No, because it was one of the things that me and Tammy wanted to do together. I, I've kind of given up on the idea of running a marathon. It seemed pretty pointless without her. And after I, well, you know, my sponsored litter pick went down. <laughs> I didn't really give too much thought to it after that. Hmm. I'll tell you what though, na naming my Tammy, Tammy, seemed like a great idea at the time. I'll try and immortalise her, but when she asked me why I'd chosen that name for her, I'd... it just, it just, it just brought home to me how, just what a cop out that it was, you know, like, so that was when I decided it was time to finally run the London Marathon with our sister by my side. In spirit and in her honour. Can you see Tiggy? Say hello, Uncle Ash. Oh, I don't think she's going to run the London Marathon with me. <laughs> yeah, anyway. And I started to fundraise. I just, I, well, I just, I just wasn't prepared to have those conversations with people, you know, like definitely not you lot, about why I was running for suicide prevention. So I ended up raising one hundred and sixty, sorry, seventy six pounds from seven people. I know, when the race started, it was great. There was a right buzz. It's everything I wanted it to be. The first couple of miles, absolute plain sailing. But by God, by the time we hit those last five miles, I thought I was going to die, honest to God. But it was, it was, it was her face. Ash. tortured, bullied, helpless girl who never had the chance to grow up. 
guided me on to the finish line. And I honestly felt her cheering me on and running beside me, holding my hand. No, I'm fine, fine. I'm gone. Sorry. I'm fine, I'm fine. It's fine. I just... I just, I, I don't know, I just thought, well, after, after all this training and bloody nearly killing myself, what was £176 going to do? Would that be enough to save anybody else? I knew, I, knew, I knew it was nothing better than nothing, but I also knew I'd have raised a hell of a lot more if I'd actually asked people. So, <sighs> just felt like I let her down, Ash. Like everybody else. Like everybody else had done. Sorry, I'm gone. Sorry, I'll call, I'll call you back. Yeah, no, sorry. It's just... I don't want anyone else to go through what we did, Ash. What we still go through. Guilt, denial, lack of acceptance. And the endless, ongoing king pain. So, this year, I am running the marathon again. <laughs> well, our sister, Ash, she killed herself when she was 14 because of being bullied at school. It wasn't okay then, and it's not okay now. And that's why I'm raising money for suicide prevention. That's, that's why. And not only would I love it if you'd sponsor me, But I'd love you to run it with me too. Side by side. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm going now. I'm going. I'm going. Just... <laughs> I love you, Ash. I'll call you tomorrow. I'll call you. Yeah? Bye, darling.